Hey guys, it's Shooky J, and today I'm here to show you my home network. So, without any further ado, let's get right into it. So, I apologize for the poor lighting because we're in the basement right now, and the only source of light is these uh, little floor lamps and that lamp back there because the fluorescent lights burnt out, but the fluorescent lights are a very bad source of light anyway because it's a really poor color, but anyways, that's not what we're here to worry about. We're here to worry about my home network, so here is my entertainment center in the basement with the TV. I have a NAS storage center underneath the TV in that cabinet. I won't show you. Maybe in a later video I'll show you that, but what we're worried about is the modem or the gateway or whatever you want to call it. You don't see that anywhere. It's not down in the cabinet. And I'll actually show you what I did with that. So let me just stand on this chair really quick. If we come up here, we'll see the AT&T gateway. And yeah, I have AT&T U-verse. And yes, I hate it just like pretty much everybody else who has it. I've known them to have the slowest internet ever, and quite frankly, you'd be better off using a dial-up connection. Not really, but just to prove how slow it is. Um, cable management is actually pretty good back here because the entertainment center, there's a small gap and you can't really see down it, but the gap is big enough for these wires to go down, so you don't see any ugly wires hanging down there. Um, so there is one wire. This wire in particular is going up into the ceiling, and we'll actually show you where that goes in a second. This is kind of a storage room. There's like old furniture, an old stove. I think that's like from 1939 if anybody really cares, but um, yeah, old crap, just storage, lots of old stuff. Anyways, um. The wire is right up there, and then it pops out of here, it is taped to the ceiling, and it goes all the way over there. And then it goes up, this is like a central air uh, pipe, I guess you could call it, and you can see the vent, there's light coming out of it, that's up in my bedroom. But this white wire is going up to a 5 port gigabit switch. And uh, that's because there's only a 100 megabit connection on the AT&T and an even lower connection out to the internet. So rather than having a 100 megabit switch, which is really bad, I had the one wire going out to the internet and then the rest of my network is operating on a gigabit switch. So LAN connections are gigabit, which is a good thing. And then you'll notice that there's a little blue wire coming out, same deal, just taped it to the ceiling with some tape. And the wire comes down here, and it's connected to my main network storage center. There's a 1 terabyte external drive connected to this, and a 160 gigabyte internal drive, as well as a 40 gigabyte drive for the operating system. So that gives me gigabyte not gigabyte, gigabit connection speeds to the rest of my network and very very fast transfer speeds when using the network storage so now I think it's time to get up in my room and we'll show you the other end of that vent alright so now we are on the other side of that vent and you'll be able to see exactly what I'm talking about here is that white wire coming from my AT&T gateway, and here is that blue Cat6 wire going from my 5 port switch down to the network storage center. So let me show you what I got going on back here. Again, another computer with a gigabit networking card to have fast transfer speeds, a lot of disk drives to rip, um... I've been ripping flak discs pretty much. I've been taking my entire CD collection and converting it to a flak or wave file form. So easiest way to do it is to just leave this here and then manage the whole process over the network, which is what I've been doing. So here's my five port gigabit switch. A lot of jumbling wires back here. So here is that white that white cord that goes from the gateway that is on port number one and that gives me access to the actual outside internet 
and it looks like it looks like the snap might have came off because it doesn't stay in, but it just sits back here anyway. It's not like it gets yanked on on a daily basis. This yellow wire goes to the back of this computer right here. This uh, thin blue wire goes to the wireless access point as well as a few other things. And this Cat6 cord on the end goes to the uh, network storage as I said before. And then that's all powered by a four port extension cord that I actually made by myself. Some of you already know about that about that because I made a video about it. If not, go check it out. So that blue cord extends all the way over here and it plugs into the back of the wireless access point. And there's also another four ports on the back of the access point. So I have my Blu-ray player Xbox and laptop getting internet off of the access point so it actually works really great everything in my house has a wired connection except obviously some laptops that are not connected to a screen as well as iPhones iPods and etc stuff like that so that's just a quick tour of my uh, network I hope that didn't take too long for you guys and I hope uh, you guys enjoyed this video so uh, until next time bye